Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wajaha and today we are going to talk about using some different wallets. I think we've all used MetaMask quite a lot and I think we're not always the biggest fan of MetaMask. Um, it does have some issues, you know, it's not the easiest to use. Sometimes you don't really know what you're signing for. Some of the messages are difficult to understand. Uh, and I thought, you know, we're in the bear market. Things are boring, so why not try and explore some different wallets and try something new? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few videos covering some of the best MetaMask alternatives uh, and probably just do a review one by one. So today, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Uh, and I think today we are going to start with Rabi Wallet. Now, I've seen this shield a lot on Twitter. Um, and so I thought, you know what, let's just give it a try. Um, so I went to their website, it's rabi.io. Um, just make sure that you're going on the right website because of course with crypto you get lots of dodgy websites you um, sign up for the wrong one import your wallet and you know before you know it your funds are all drained anyway this one is created by the team at dbank uh, dbank is a really nice crypto platform that i've been using a lot uh, for as a wallet uh, tracker um, and yeah go on their website you can see how rabi is different from metamask one of the things that they do is that when you are on a particular platform it it will automatically switch your kind of network to the correct chain so then that's pretty cool um i think the other thing is like you know you have some sort of pre-sign risk or pre-sign check there as well which is always nice to see um being able to see exactly what you're signing for and you know have your estimated balance um and yeah you know they've got some security they've done them they've done some audits they've got an open source core code which is obviously very important um and uh yeah you know they're integrated with many many chains you can use your hardware wallets uh, lots of different options there uh and you can basically um yeah use your use your other wallets that you've you know been using whether that's trust wallet or metamask or whatever really um uh, and they support institutional wallets too so you know let, let's just get straight to it um yeah i've downloaded the extension for chrome um so this is kind of where you'll come up with first you can create a new address which will create your own wallet uh, import an address if you've got one already um it, one of the nice things is that you can import your own metamask account so um if that's something that you use, you use MetaMask, you wanna directly put it on there, you don't have to add on all your coins or all your other wallets, it'll just do that automatically, so that'll be nice. Uh, and of course you can connect with your mobile, your hardware wallet, of course everyone should have a hardware wallet. I've done lots of videos, uh, written a newsletter article, lots of threads on Twitter about the importance of a hardware wallet. I'm sure you guys all know that anyway. Um, so today, well, uh, let's just import an address because uh, I've got uh, a wallet already that I created not too long ago. So we'll go and do that now and uh, we'll import via the seed phrase. Right, fine, we've done it now. Uh, and I'll be able to import um, the following address. I can import more addresses, but we're just gonna import the one for now uh, and click next. And there you go, we've successfully uh, imported the wallet and I'm just going to rename this um, Wallet one, Rabi wallet, uh, and there we go, done. Uh, so this is the kind of interface that you'll uh, see to begin with. Um, <clears throat> at the top, you'll be able to see token, DeFi, NFT. And if I click on token, what it will do is it'll come up with all of the tokens that you have. It's not like MetaMask, you don't need to manually add them, you don't need the contract address or anything like that. They should all come up here. Um, any DeFi positions that you hold, whether that's on Curve or Convex or any of your favorite protocols, again, they should all come up here as long as they're supported. Um, you'll be able to see uh, everything that's deposited in various different um, pools. And of course, they support NFT collections as well. So uh, you'll be able to see all your favorite NFTs, whether that's uh, the one that I've got displayed here or uh, any other one that you've got, your Bored Apes or your CryptoPunks or any other kind of NFT should be supported there as well. So I think that's really nice that you can kind of see all that stuff uh, in one go uh, in terms of the actual interface so we've got swap that's coming soon not available at the moment I assume that's going to be somewhat similar to what MetaMask have with their MetaMask swaps um, send if you want to send um, you know any sort of crypto asset to anyone el else again you just paste the address here and you'll be able to select all of your any of your tokens and just send it like that um, it's nice that you can kind of choose all the different networks here. So you can see here that I've got Arbitrum and Ethereum pinned because those are the two networks I use the most. But, you know, I use a lot of these other ones as well. You know, Avalanche, you know, even the Binance Smart Chain. Um, you've got some of these new chains like Kanto, 
which are very interesting. Uh, Phantom, of course, some of these uh, layer twos as well, um, like Metis, especially, you know, the Polkadot ecosystem, Optimism, you know, there's loads and loads of like options here, really. And I think that's really nice. Um, so, yeah, pretty much everything EVM compatible pff, is right on here. Um, again, receive as well. If you want to receive on Arbitrum, you can get your addresses very easily like that. Um, I believe obviously your address is going to be the same here. So yeah, very nice, very easy to do. Uh, gas top up, um, top up gas by sending as available tokens on another chain. Instant transfer as soon as your payment is confirmed without waiting for it to be irreversible. Oh, that's kind of nice. So, you know, if you wanted to top up some gas, um, yeah, you can do that very easily there. So that's pretty cool. So if I click continue, if I wanted $20 of AVAX, ah, okay, so I'll have to, this is, I guess this is how they make a bit of money. So you can send some sort of token here uh, and yeah, get yourself some gas, which is very nice. Yeah, you'll be able to see all of your transactions here, um, all of the different websites that you're connected to. So you can see that I've recently went on uh, Convex uh, and I recently connected here. So you can see that it's connected here. I can pin my favorite. Uh, applications so that's kind of nice uh, and obviously disconnect as well um, so there you go I just click that and I'm disconnected which is very very good um, approval so again very very good to see which contracts which smart contracts you've approved uh, this is something that MetaMask does not have so being able to revoke approvals which you would have had to do via Etherscan or kind of any other kind of platform uh, that lets you do that Again, this is very nice. It's a very nice feature that you have in wallet. And I think every wallet should have a feature like this because sometimes, you know, you buy a coin, the coin rugs, uh, and, you know, you don't want your wallet to be connected or associated with that contract, especially if it's malicious in any way. Uh, and yeah, you might want to revoke that approval. And this is one of the best ways that you could do it. Uh, addresses here. So this is these will be all of your different addresses. Um, so yeah, you can see them all there. Uh, and then you've got settings. So you can see kind of things that you've signed, uh, you signed transactions or signed tax. Um, what else can we see? Um, old contact list. Uh, yeah, and connecting on Discord and things like that. And you can reset your account there as well. You can lock your wallet too. Uh, one, one thing that I find is really nice is that you can see the kind of GUI going on at the moment. So we can see kind of that and of course, Ethereum's price. I really, I really do like that. Um, that's really nice, a really nice feature. Um, and and yeah, if you want to go to Dbank, uh, you can just literally click on this link, and yeah, it should take you to your to your wallet. There you go. Um, so that's very nice. I like that. Um, very very good feature there. Um, and um, yeah, if you want to copy your wallet again? You would just click this. Um, yeah, so. You can easily swap your chain as well. So you can see, look, on Arbitrum, the GUI, so, you know, you can see how different it is. You can see on Avalanche, it's a little bit higher. Uh, you know, I really like that you can see, you know, the, the prices of these assets, just depending on whatever chain you're on. That is really awesome. So, yeah, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to using using this uh, wallet. I'm going to definitely play around with it play around with it for a while. Um, let's see what the process is. So let's go to Convex. And uh, let's see kind of the process of connecting your wallet. So imagine if we went to Convex and we wanted to connect. Um, you'll see here that, you know, MetaMask injected wallet, wallet connect to Coinbase wallet. Where the hell is Rabi wallet? Well, Rabi wallet works as, as a MetaMask does. So you can click MetaMask uh, and yeah, there you go. It's, it's come up with my Rabi wallet and it says, you know, Convex wants to connect. Uh, on the Ethereum network, so I'll click connect, and there you go, we're connected. Uh, and if I click this, it should tell me here that I'm connected to Convex Finance right now. Uh, and yeah, that's that's really good. Uh, I like that feature. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it really. I mean, there isn't really much more to using a wallet other than that. I've pretty much shown you the features. Um, if there are any others, maybe I'll do an updated video uh, with kind of how things change in the future. But yeah, uh, I really do like it. Um, you can back up your seed phrase and things like that too. But yeah, I really like um, I really like how this works. Um, the wallet looks very nice. It's very easy to use. Um, so yeah, uh, I would say Rabi Wallet, a good wallet to use. Let's see how it gets on over time. You know, I need to give it some time, of course. 
try it out yourself. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, and I'll probably try out a different wallet in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll be back with another video soon.